if you are a beginner in C++ and want to learn about how to do 100% customized encryption decryption, then this video is for you. This coding video will be 100% beginner friendly. We will only use functions, arrays and loops and with the help of that, we will create our program. Make sure to subscribe NeuroCode. Let's get started. First of all, let's start by importing the libraries we will need. We will write hashtag include C string because we will write corrected arrays, etc. After this, we will declare two arrays which will be of corrected data type and in it, we will store our encryption and decryption data. I will tell you how it works. First of all, let's write them. Corrector, encrypt, data. All right, and the second one will be corrector decrypt data. All right, so in the first array, which will be of encryption, we will write the like you know hidden words which we want the corrector to replace with, and in the decryption, we will write the normal one. I will explain about how these work, but first of all, let's write some data and then I will explain you along with it like a b c d we are here starting with only lowercase alphabets all right this is our decryption data and now let's write the encryption data here we will put the characters which we want the lower characters to replace with like for example it is a here if we get a then i will say that replace it with five and if i get b in the string then replace it with three similar way c replace it with p d replace it with t e replace it with like let's say that x etc Here I have wrote all the characters in English alphabet. Like if I get Z, then replace it with V. If I get S, then replace it with C. Or if I get Q, then replace it with F. Now let's recheck again to see if we code any similar, like you know, character by mistake. All right, this is fine now. We just made two replacements and the rest, I guess it's perfect. The second thing we will do is that we will create constant and max size is equal to size of encryption data. Like these both are of same size. Therefore, we will just take the size of one of them. The size of function will return the total number of elements in the character array. We can confirm it by printing it. We can write size of array is and then max size and line. As we know that English has 26 alphabets. So it has returned 26, means that it is working. In the next step, we will create three functions. One will be get index function, the second will be encryption, and the third one will be decryption. So we will make these three functions. Let's start by get index function. We will make it of integer return type and get index. And it will take two arguments. One will be the character array, character A double R. All right. And the second one will be the character, single character. Okay. What this function will do is that it will run a for loop, and inside the for loop, it will check the location of X, the index of X in an array. If that element is found, then it will return its index. 
and if the character is not in the array then it will return minus 1 let's write it for int i is equal to 0 i is less than max size as you know that max size is the size of array i plus plus if a double r of i is equal to x it means that if it finds this character then we will return i i will be the index as we know it will start from 0 till size minus 1 so one by one it will check it and wherever the x element matches the array it will return that point in case the character is not existing in the array then it will return minus 1 that's it for our get index function you will understand better when we use it in the encryption and decryption array so let's move towards encryption array now the encryption function will be of string return type so we will write string name of the function and then in the arguments we will take a string from the main string s okay and at the end we will return the converted string like normally so let's see the process in this function first of all we will declare a variable int index and then we will run a loop for int i is equal to 0 i is less than s dot size i plus plus what this for loop will do is that it will go one by one through each of the character of the string inside this for loop we will write index is equal to get index and here we are in encryption function right in the encryption function we will pass the decryption data array this one and in the decryption function we will pass the encryption data array so first of all let's like you know pass the decryption data array here and then along with we will pass the character which we want to find which will be s of i like the character in the string after that we will put an if statement that if index is greater than equal to 0 means that if that element is found in the array then we will simply do that s of i is equal to encryption data of index this one line of code is much important we will understand its significance by an example because our encryption function is completed here so it means that we can encrypt any string let's try it string a b and then we will do that string is equal to encryption and in that we will pass the string after that let's run the code look before encryption it was a b after encryption it is 5 3 let's see how it works focus at this point here first of all the character a came it came and checked the index here it was at zero index so it then went in the encryption data array at zero index it took the value which was 5 and replace it with a so in the location of a 5 came and the second time when it came on b it searched first of all this array and it found that the b is at one index when it found that b is at one index the one came at this place like one came 
okay and then it checked that one is greater than or equal to zero which is true then it did that s of i like the index of the string which was b b is equal to encryption data of one which was the index that came so encryption data of one is three then three got replaced here with the character b that's how it all worked i hope you understand it now that how the 53 came we can try anything else also we can write g and j now this is d and v let's confirm g here and g's encryption key is d it's true and the next is j its encryption key is v means that our encryption function is working perfectly first of all we will write string as return type decryption and it will also take string as a parameter it will also return a string all right in the same method we will declare an integer of index after that we will write a for loop i is less than s dot size i plus plus and in that index is equal to get index in it we will pass the encryption array because this time we are inside the decryption function and along with that we will pass the s of i after that we will check similarly that if index is greater than or equal to 0 then s of i is equal to decryption data for index so that's it for our decryption function also let's check it let's run it before encryption it was g and j after encryption it called dv and after decryption it called g and j back we can try other word also like neurocode let's see what it will do hmm? whoa it's working as well <laughs> that's great means that there is no worries other programs on the internet they are not this way they are too complicated not for beginners that's why i created this code special for the beginners and you can increase the size more for example you can add numbers also so i will do it in first If we want to encrypt the empty space also, we can do it. It's simple. Look now it's even hiding the empty spaces so it's hard to understand i hope this video has helped you in increasing your knowledge of c++ programming make sure to subscribe neurocode because 92 percent of viewers have not subscribed this channel and there are a lot of projects for beginners and videos to easily understand programming <laughs>